The elves had been a loyal subject of the Alder Folk's previous king. When he learned Eredin was a regicide, he agreed to help defeat the usurper. Your kind spreads disease, defeatism, and desertion. Rudania. Find a way in? Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Sure the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted sentries there? They haven't. How can you be sure? Novograd's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's elven roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. And right, I'm night. absolutely certain no one's thought to place sentries there. Hope you're right. Good night. Let me take. <laughs> you choked to death on three pounds of steel. I can, just, can we just walk? Look at this run from the end What a pathetic fucking. Here we are. This is it? Hmm. Boulder was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemelfart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. See you inside then. Good luck. Wet clothes. No oh, joy. Yes. Seems this one liked Elven stuff. No 
choice. somewhere. do it. Wall looks brittle. brittle.
Watch it whirling. What is Calm it? Down. Margarita. Who? H who's that? Geralt. God, I'm hallucinating. Mm -hmm. Getting you out of here. No chance. We'll both die in here. Sheila. They captured her first. Her condition's critical. Pointless. They'll never open it without the key. The warden keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back. A pair of pincers or white hot tongues. Get it from both sides! Shit!
Watch is whirling. What are you doing? Yen insisted on coming. Rita! Sheila! When I get my hands on the sons of bitches... Yenna! I shan't make it. Hold on! You must hold on. <laughs> I'm dying, Diana. I'm a sorceress. Let me die with dignity.
Yen, get Rita out of here. Geralt, Yen, for once, don't argue with him. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go. Funny. There was a time I'd have asked you not to do this. No, you'd never have asked. You're too proud. Shit is tough, bro. For real. Wow. What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Got nothing to be afraid of. Just go. Listen to what they have to say. And if they try to force me into something? Can't believe you'd ever let them. Margarita's only ever cared about your education. Doubt she'll try to drag you into politics. Philip is tougher, plays a mean game, but ultimately respects those who hold to their views. If she makes you an offer, and you firmly turn it down, she'll respect that. Thanks, Geralt. Well, go. Don't give him any more time to strategize. Seriously. True. Good decision. Relax. She'll be fine. Rita won't hurt her, but Philippa. She can be ruthless. Siri's been in tougher situations and come out of them all right. True. We managed to instill some principles, skills that have helped. Exactly. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Of course. I'll just have a peek.
Don't spy on her. You really have that little faith? I don't trust Philippa and Rita. So why do you even allow this meeting to happen? For the same reason you did. If they're to respect her, she can't be seen to be hanging onto my apron strings. What do you see? Philippa pontificating. Siri pacing wall to wall. She stopped. She's saying something. Philippa's turned pale. It's my Siri. Probably gave her an earful. Quiet. Here she comes. So? You were eavesdropping. Yes. No. You haven't changed a bit. You want to be alone for a while to digest, process? Yes. I shall go for a walk. I must unwind. Remember, we need to go to Skellige. Avalok awaits at the port. I remember. I'll be there soon.
Need some more. Needs. Take. Side is the last round one of the villages that'll let you poker for a few. I guess we'll go with this first. So Spade, please. The bottle of it. Long live Radovid! Greetings. Show me.
So long. this. Greetings, Ibia. Greetings, Geralt. Listen. So long. Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What of Fringilla? That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. <sighs> Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. Hmm. Take it the Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. Bye bye tomorrow! How are you feeling? Better. I thank you. If you'd not arrived in time, Things might have ended considerably worse. I am your debtor. Thank you, Yennefer. It was her idea, her plan. Thought Margarita Loantil would be among the last to get nabbed by witch hunters. Were it dependent solely on me, of course I would have. But you forget I had my students to consider. I knew the hunters would eventually reach Aratusa. It was but a matter of time. So when I heard Triss was organizing escapes to Kavir, I saw no reason to hesitate. I gathered my novices and we rode here to Novigrad. Sadly, we were caught and thrown in Dayrath before I could contact Triss. Didn't see any other sorceresses in there with you? Because they'd already been executed. Burned. Alive. One after the other. The most talented girls in the North. Radovid was saving me for last. If you're here, 
What's become of Eratusa? The day I arrived in Novigrad, I received a message from Viruta Ikati. A short, curt note. School overrun by Redanians. The libraries burned. Handful of pupils fled with Nina Viveran. The rest are dead. It is over. No reaction from the Council? The Conclave? Do you jest? They asked Radovid to intervene. Just after he'd appointed them. Farewell, Rita. Supper, I never refuse. Well, what is it? No need to thank me, Philippa. Always glad to save your ass. You're welcome. You stood to gain. That is why you saved me. Where's Saskia now? She managed to free herself of your spell. I lost control of her when the war broke out. I've no notion where she is. I know you used her, but couldn't escape the impression that you actually cared for her in some way. Really? Way back when, did you really send assassins after Dijkstra? You believe I... Do you not remember we were once lovers? Maybe it's just me, but I think you'd consider that in itself to be reason enough. Actually, I've long wondered why you parted, quarreled even. <sighs> you see, Geralt, there are those who keep politics separate from their private lives, and those who do not. Which one was Dijkstra? The more boring of the two. Farewell. Yes, Geralt? So long, Triss. Got a minute? Of course. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. So why'd you return? <sighs> it was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's... nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalach claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere once it's over. Someplace picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala or maybe Dolblathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve do not disturb into the room door, and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. Geralt? Thanks, Yen. Geralt? So... Feel any different after our encounter with the Jinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. 
mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. <laughs> Thanks, Yan. See you later. <laughs> Please don't make me talk to her again. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. The king of the wild hunt sailed aboard the Nagal Fair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone. An artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. Aerodin's 15-incher was a real force to be reckoned with. However, Geralt possessed a 16-inch. That settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Can you teleport me onto Amira's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages? Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show his Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Dallas, please. Absolutely love elven legends. 
Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillian. Yet she spurned him. <clears throat> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillian a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillian's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. <laughs> With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. I know where Ermian. Is. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. I'm off. Good luck. Okay. Never here. Best blade's not worth shite of a week. Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermian? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. And later, don't count your father out just because he's the world's richest and most powerful authoritarian rotter unworthy of even one inch of trust. Actually, of all people, I believe you can trust him. Perhaps you even should. What about the dictatorial rotter part? Something to get used to. <laughs> yes, Geralt? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Charming world you and Elle have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. 
simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. So long. Yeah. What's the... What throws you off when you're like, Oh, should I trust this dude? It's of course you do, because he is a fucking elf. So the way he fucking does stuff is just different than us. Or than, like, right than our regular, like, human being. Tis the lore behind it. Something I've always wondered. What did you witchers do? Grand those swords. But I prefer me trust the axe. Everyone else would crack out. He not content Respect, have the mightiest Witcher. fleet take control of my oil and seen his spawn on the throne. Under present circumstances. Under present circumstances, crack can go ahead and wreak the shite he saw. Almighty crack. Well, surely he can take on the black ones and myself. I'll not kneel before an oncrate, never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the black ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding Moorhog than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Jarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. What would you call it if not treason? That your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! I rip you go! giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. Aerodin became cross when Ciri plunged his, her sword into his ass. Jeez. Something I've always wondered. What do you witchers do once there are no basilisks left?
I'll not kneel the farm. You put under. Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? Not your bark before you bite. Did Croc send you here for my head? Well, then go ahead. Try to take it. Get him. Okay. Ermians, bro. Fuck no, dog. We should not stay here. These guys attack us, they have cell phones. Let's not get in the way of me axe. Move. That's enough. Wait, wait. This one's really funny. What's the difference between a milk guardian? Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermian. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Croc's blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Ker Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war Stupid. will start soon, and even sooner. 
But why have you returned to Skellige? How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Crack's will, all failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Urberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You'll become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arendjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Uh, gods protect us. Uh, vagrant. See him like here? Grand told me you'd blaspheme the gods. Right here. Huh? Let's not get in the way of my axe. Let's not. Ugh. Oh! You! There's truth to that blood of the ice giant. Watch how you walk. Are you mad, you twit? Be gone. Any last words? Come on, let's do some trading.
Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, hey, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Gevorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath, and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Avon. What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing a historical treatise on the Enshe Elves. Under Ermian's tutelage. Ermian? Man never cared a whit about the elves of the mountains. I've seen through you, you conniver. Cut me to bits if you like. I'll never tell you about the cavern. <sighs> oh, it's sure to be today. Hmm? Yes, what is it? Some fucking gay shit, man. The king of the wild hunt sailed aboard the Nagalfair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aroden into a trap. Tell by your mug I was right. And to think, didn't take you for a looter at first. I just want to look around the cavern. Research. Research? Writing an adventure novel. Gathering material for it. Mean to write up the coming of the White Fleet? Try, my dear. Mayhaps you could use my translation of the Song of Gilban and Dillion. Gladly, gladly. So where's this cavern? Got a sail east from Kertrolda. Caverns in a cove, only accessible from the sea. So long, and good luck with the white whale. It'll show today. I'm sure of it.
Keep clear of this. There's no supper knives or good for picking your teeth. Call one in myself. Don't drink another flag. Greeting. Show me. to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. You've something of a persecution complex. You needn't come with us. I hadn't intended it. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, <clears throat> Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the Sunstone's on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. We'll await you there. Yes, Geralt. So long. Yes, Geralt? So long, Triss. find something interesting inside. How will you lift the barrier? Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try it. Yatta Ligon! We've awoken the century. I'll take care of it.
cozy. It doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. into somebody's bedroom. Genealogical chart of the Enhanikir, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the parts of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. He's only analyzing? Really believe. The king of the Wild Hunt sailed aboard the Nagalfair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. You port no it's sure <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. Perhaps this was Feel like I've walked into all. somebody's bedroom. It seems someone was literally just here. assistant maybe no somehow doesn't seem like Avalok to have one mm, a distillate smells like verbena uh -huh. Uh -huh what no nothing sometimes you really get on my nerves you know herbs not very incriminating wait we've not examined the entire laboratory yet of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. 
It seems Avalark has analyzed all the parts of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Lara's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Let's look at his notes. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volka? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri, but it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ciri's, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalok never got that far. Apparently, all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. Yes? Sure, know their fragrances. Hmm, they were a standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. How did you get in here? We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out. You. I remember you. From Tirnalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But... I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's, uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be! Siri... What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Kaer Morhen? 
Shame I can't do that at will, because I'd really like to now. Just skip, like he didn't say anything. That's better. Let's get out of here. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You're sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm -hmm. See you. Look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night.
What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skial. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defile our laws. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The Wild Hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the specters be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Aye, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves, well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said, can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. You've no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. Guys, there's like a monster flying in the background that's gonna kill them in like two seconds. Back to the boat. Mm -hmm. Would you get rule? Got a minute. All right. All right, Gerald. We will talk later. Thank you. 